Do cops have quotas? No and yes. No, there isn't a quota. In fact, it's actually illegal to have a quota. However, there are ways that departments get around this. And a good example of that is we have an award called Hard Charger. Now this Hard Charger award is for the person who basically has the most stats. Now, if I'm a new officer and I wanna win that award, what do you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go out there and hammer everything. I'm gonna go out there and write a ton of tickets. And some of those tickets are probably gonna be BS stuff like writing somebody for a tag light. But because I wanna reach those stats, limits, I'm going to do it. Or I'm going to make every arrest I possibly can, even if it's a minor one, even though I legally can to make an arrest. Is it necessary? Not always, right? We have discretion in some cases, but if you're trying to go for a hard charger, you're probably going to push for that arrest. It's an award that I don't entirely agree with. And I think it causes some people to push a little too far, too much tickets for ridiculous things because they just want to win an award. Who cares about an award? Just do your job. So no, legally you cannot have a quota. However, Departments do find ways around it. Another example, supervisors can ask you to, hey, I need you to bring in five pieces of paper tonight. I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing. I think that it helps new officers gain experience. It's a good learning tool because it gets them out there. It gets them pushed to do things. However, I don't think it should be, hey, you need to bring me five tickets. No, I think if you brought me five warnings, written warnings, it shows that you went out there, you were proactive. You connected with the community in some way. You stopped somebody from driving fast and, and talked to them about it. And you brought me a piece of paper that says that you, you did that. I think that's, that's, that's fair, right? Now we can get into the importance of traffic enforcement in entirely another video. However, I will say that I do think traffic enforcement is important and tickets are necessary. To be brief on that, if you never write somebody a ticket, then people would just drive crazy all the time. You would have accidents and people dying and getting seriously injured from poor driving. So there's gotta be some kind of consequence. And what hurts the most is when you hit somebody's wallet. So this is why tickets are so expensive. This is why they sting because they're meant to, because it's supposed to keep you from doing that again. Oh, well, no, it's all about the money. It's all about the money, about the money. Yeah, we, you just want to get money. You just want to meet your quota and, and, and make money. We don't ever see any money from this. It cracks me up when people say this to me on my traffic stops. Oh, you just want to meet your quota and get that extra money. No, I don't make any money from writing tickets. If I did, I would be cranking them out because I don't make enough money as it is. And yeah, that's why you can't do that because that would be wrong in so many ways. So no, we don't get any incentive for writing citations. We do not get a bonus at the end of the month for writing, say 50 tickets, 50 bucks. No, that doesn't happen. The money goes straight to county and cities. That's who collects the money. We don't see anything as officers. All right, to close this video out, just for my officers out there, don't be a hypocrite. If you drive 12 miles an hour over the speed limit, don't be the guy out there writing the ticket for somebody driving 12 miles an hour over the speed limit. Just think about that. So if there's anything I missed, guys, you know what to do. Leave it down below in the comments section. Hopefully I kept this within three minutes this time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.